Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the maximum of this function subject to this constraint. Also, uh, x, y, and z are all positive uh, in this problem. So to do this problem, we're going to use something called Lagrange multipliers. So the method of Lagrange multipliers says that we start by solving the following equation. So we have the gradient of f of x, y, z, and that's equal to lambda times the gradient of g of x, y, z. And also we have the following constraint. So g of x, y, z is equal to a constant. So we solve these, this equation, we get our x, y, z, we plug it back into f, and we get our maximum. And this problem here, uh, this is our g and this is our c. Okay, so recall the gradient is the vector whose components are the first partial derivatives. This is the partial of f with respect to x, the partial of f with respect to y, and the partial of f with respect to z. This should be equal to lambda, and then we have the partial of g with respect to x, the partial of g with respect to y, and then we have gz. Okay. So now we just have to work all of this out. So let's do it. So let's see, the partial of f with respect to x. So the y and z are constants. So the derivative of x is just 1. So we just get yz. When you do fy, the derivative of y is 1. So you're left with xz. And when you compute f sub z, the derivative of z is 1. So you're left with xy. Right? Because x and y are constants. They hang out. The derivative of z is 1. Okay, this is equal to lambda. Well, here the derivative of x is 1 for gx, and then everything else is 0, so we just get 1. For gy, um, the derivative of y is 1. Everything else is 0, so we just get 1. Same thing for gz. So this is equal to lambda, lambda, lambda. So lambda is equal to each of these. So we have lambda equals yz. Lambda equals xz, lambda equals xy. So lambda is equal to each of these. Um, so these must all be equal. So yz is equal to xz is equal to xy. So what do we do next? Um, well, maybe we can just pick two of these and subtract them. So like, let's focus on yz equals xz. So we can um, subtract xz from both sides. So we get yz minus xz, and that would be equal to 0. And then I guess we can pull out a z. Let's try that. So this is z, parentheses, y minus x. And that's equal to 0. Whenever we have a product equal to 0, we set each factor equal to 0. So z equals 0 or y minus x equals 0. But in this problem, we have only positive variables. So we must have y minus x equals 0. So that means that y is equal to x. Because they are the same. right? Because they are the same. So now that we have y equals x, um, maybe uh, we can use these, this equation here. right? So we have xz equals xy. Right, but y is equal to x, so xz is equal to um, x squared. And then maybe we can, again, subtract xz, see what happens. Just trying stuff here. I haven't done this before. So, so x squared minus xz, yeah, yeah, equals 0. And then we can pull out an x, so we get x minus z equals 0. So we get x equals 0, x equals z, but it can't be that, so x must be equal to z. So when we got here, let me just recap what I did. Um, I just decided to use the other two equations because we had already used, use a different color here, we had, we had already used these, and that gave us y equals x. So I thought, well, let's maybe use these, right? Replace y with x, do some math, and we get x equals z. But y is equal to x, so that means that they're all the same. So x equals y equals z. So now maybe we can go to our constraint, which is way up here. x plus y plus z minus 3 equals 0. 
So x and y and z are all the same. So we can write this as x plus x plus x minus 3 equals 0. So that would mean that um, 3x minus 3 equals 0. So 3x is equal to 3, so x is equal to 1. But they're all the same. So y is also equal to 1, and z is also equal to 1. So again, just plugging in x, 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 we get 3x minus 3, so x is 1, y is 1, z is 1. Now we just plug these into the original function, and that should give us uh, the answer. In this case, we wanted the maximum. So this is going to be 1 times 1 times 1. That's just 3, and that is the maximum. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.